Hey, what's up, guys? It's Lego Hobo 910 here with another Lego video, and in this video, I'm reviewing set number 70920, Egghead Mech Food Fight. Now, let's get right into the review. So, here is the Egghead Mech, which the set is named after. And first of all, I want to say this is a really neat looking mech with just kind of a big circular body and kind of short legs. Plus, I really like the arm attachments, they're unique. I'll show a bit more in detail, being the uh egg blaster there and then the egg beater and on the back here there is a giant tank that says egg explosives a fantastic egg pun and it has just a little kind of chicken statue there i'm not sure if it's supposed to be a real chicken or just a statue and a bunch of egg pieces in there as well as a few containers on the back here it does look a bit rough around the sides there they could have shaped it up there a bit better i think adding a bit more white would have made it look a bit better and then we have the two arms here. This is the egg shooter and just has a disc shooter on the bottom here. So you can just press on the disc and it shoots. It shoots these little printed egg pieces and it comes with three of those in total. One and then two extra shots. And then the other arm is the egg beater here where you can just spin it. And also it has posable uh, claws there, which you can use to pick up and hold minifigures, though it's not very stable, so it kind of has a tendency to tip over unless you get it just right. Just has a few little stickers there, one there. And then this is a big printed uh, dish because you can't really put stickers on dishes nicely. And also this is a really posable mech. As you can see in the intro there, I had it standing easily on one leg. You can nicely get it into kind of a running pose like that. You can pose the arms all around. The legs are on ball joints in two places. It kind of has knee joints. As you can see, they're actually decently long legs. It just looks sh uh, shorter from the front being covered by this bit. And so those are posable on two ball joints. And then this, it's a ball joint in the elbows. And then some ratcheted joints up in the shoulder, which can twist and then move to either side. One thing with this arm, though, is this tube does kind of get in the way of some movements, but generally not too much. And also there are a few kind of obvious ugly blue pins throughout the set, which is always annoying, but uh, they aren't as bad as they are in some other sets. And there's another nice, easy, one-legged kind of stomping pose. Now let's just put it kind of flat, and I'll show you that you can open up the cockpit here. It's just one piece there. It does leave a bit of gaps, but not too bad, and also most of the time the arms will be kind of covering that. You can open it up, and then there's room for one minifigure in here. In this case, I have Egghead. And he just stands on those studs in the bottom there, and then uses these as kind of his control sticks. Yeah, and that is about all for the mech there. Just gonna get it out of the way. It's a standard Batman. He has a grappling hook. The belt piece. There's a better view of his face. Here is his other face. There is the other face with the mask. There's the back printing. You've all probably seen Batman a hundred times. Let's be open with him for now. So, now we have Egghead, a villain who was created for the... 1960s Batman show, and he has this cool new uh, head attachment there that's not part of the actual head, there's the actual head, and then this is just a little dome piece, which attaches to give him his extra large head, or should I say egg extra large, but I'm sure I'll see myself out, uh, and then he's wearing a white and yellow suit that kind of looks like an egg, and then a bit of a bow tie type thing, which looks like an egg as well. There's no printing on the back. Though he does have this kind of a coattail waist piece there, which is the kind of older, more crinkly fabric. And now we have the star of the show, Condiment King. And you can't really see much of the torso printing right now, so I'll go into that in more detail. Right now I'm just going to kind of talk about his pack here. He has two stud shooters. I wish they would have, uh, like, done what you see in the movie where it's the kind of a smoothie cups in red and yellow. I wish they would have done that. That would have been a neat piece to get and looked a lot better. 
but I understand they did this that way you can, you know, actually shoot things. And then it comes with two extra red studs and two extra yellow studs for the ketchup and mustard. And if we move it around to the back here, you can see the rest of the pack. They're built up. And it uses some uh, kind of uh, whip pieces for the hoses, so they are fairly bendable. So you can pose him, make him shoot the guns in different directions. And this is just attached with a clear neck bracket. Now let's take that pack off so you can see the actual minifigure. Here is the minifigure with all the pieces removed. And in the center of his chest there, he has the Condiment King C logo. And then moving around to the back, there really isn't much printing because it's going to be covered up all the time. And as you can see, it's a dual molded legs, the top half being uh, the medium azure, the bottom half being the white for his boots. And the printing there for uh, kind of his underwear over the outside superhero thing piece, it's really thinly printed. You can probably see that it's kind of bluish white and it's not really kind of the pure white it's supposed to be. And then he's wearing this uh, green kind of bomber hat. You can take that off and you can see his face a bit better there. You can see the eyebrows a lot better. Really angry. And then this face, he's eating lots of ketchup and mustard. Uh, there's like one blotch of mustard and then some around his mouth. It doesn't really show up that well in real life and even worse on camera. Now, one thing that they did really badly here is the printing on the face is really thin. So it's kind of a greenish color. Uh, it may not be super noticeable just looking at it, but when you put it up next to a minifigure with the actual skin tone, you can see how green it became from thin printing. They should have printed that on a lot more thick, and it would have looked a lot better. But other than that, this guy is great. Fantastic epic figure for the clearly best Batman villain. Overall, I think this set is excellent. <laughs> uh, it has a really unique looking mech with that's really poseable and easily balances as well as the two villain figures being great and the Batman is still you know a good minifigure but there's nothing really unique about him we've seen him a million times so overall it's a really unique and great set that's all and peace